I have old documents from the Pentagon from 1972 to early 1973. You weren't a spy or anything, were you? No, <laughs> not at all. Where did you get these? At a yard sale. Seriously? As far as I know, you're not supposed to be taking volumes of paper from the Pentagon and bringing them home. I mean, I don't know if you're allowed to have these. Let me call someone down here Let's and find do out that. what the deal is with these, all right? That would be great. I have no idea how these documents ended up at a yard sale. Mark, how's it going? It's going well. How about yourself? Oh, pretty good. We have reports from the Pentagon. OK, these are, in fact, daily reports. They were put out by the Federal Broadcast Information Service. We had somebody listening in to all the foreign radio and television and then transcribing everything they heard. The FBIS reports, though, were not classified reports. And because of that, it's openly available today. Yes, they're legal to own, so they're not secret. Okay. So you're OK on that. You can go to the library and look up and read everything on every one of the pages. So I take it you're not going to give me any money for these? Uh, at least That's we found okay. out a little bit about them. Yes, thank okay. you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. thank you. I knew it was a long shot, but I was really hoping there would be something incredible in this collection. I have some political memorabilia, the Secret Service ID for J. Howard McGrath, Attorney General of the United States. Okay. His White House pass. I believe that is half of a counterfeit $10 bill. They signed it to the Attorney General. J. Howard McGrath was a power player in Washington politics. He was the chairman of the Democratic National Committee when Truman ran for president. This is an amazing collection. You just never see stuff like this, but it scares the hell out of me. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure it's a felony to own this thing. These things could be really valuable, or they could land me in jail. So I'm bringing in my buddy Mark to check them out. So what do we have today? Well, this is a counterfeit bill, so. <laughs> counterfeit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 now let me take a look here. Oh, yes. This is his Secret Service credential. The embossing, the seal is right on this. So this is all right. This is quite unusual. That, on the other hand, you don't want. A counterfeit bill is not legal to own. Thanks for coming in, Mark. Not a problem. You're the best. Appreciate it. All righty. How much you want for? I'd like $1,000. Not going to happen. I need to get five. Yeah, I'll give you 500 bucks. Good deal. All right. You want to write them up? Yeah, sure. What do we have here? These are a certified copy of the Saddam Hussein prints that were taken when he was arrested in Iraq. The originals are in the FBI vaults, but there's 44 original certified copies. Where did you get these? I was an FBI agent, so I was over there, and they gave all the agents a certified copy when they left. OK. Um, definitely something different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty amazed that he actually even signed it. He wouldn't sign it till it was fingerprinted. I guess he thought we were going to switch a rule, like we put somebody else's fingerprints on there. Super paranoid. Normally, I don't buy memorabilia that has something to do with really bad people. But this represents a major victory for US Armed Forces, and that's pretty cool. But still, putting a price on something so creepy won't be easy. I'll tell you what, I'll give you my best offer. I'll give you 1,500 bucks. We can make a deal there. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. Sentimentally, it's worth more to me than that, so. Well, um, thanks for bringing it in. It was okay. pretty neat. Yeah, thank okay. you. Have a nice day. Pleasure. Day.